Good evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here, playing a new game for my channel, Heroes of the Storm. This is Blizzard's entry into the MOBA genre, which if you're not familiar with what that is, it is a multiplayer online battle arena. In this type of game, everybody picks a character, and then you run around and you try to kill the other characters and destroy their base, in a nutshell. Now, like a lot of Blizzard games, what it seems like they're doing with Heroes of the Storm is taking um, an established game type, making it a lot simpler and a lot better. I actually like this a lot more than League of Legends, which is a game that I played for a long time, and in my review of this game, I'm going to compare it to League of Legends quite a bit. However, if you haven't played League of Legends, that's all right. Uh, you'll still be able to understand what's going on. So this game is actually pretty straightforward. Um, on the meta level, like in a lot of Blizzard games, you level up, and it's pretty nicely done. So at first, you can only play against the computer. Once you hit level three, which is just after a few games, you can play against other real human beings. And at level 6 you unlock daily quests, so the daily quests are kind of nifty, what they basically do is they give you an incentive to play with different types of heroes, so for example, this is a pretty simple quest, you just have to play two games, here's one where you have to play two games with a specialist hero, so the daily quest will sometimes encourage you to try out different things, but note, you know, I don't have to win two games with a specialist hero, I just need to play them, so it's, it's pretty low stress, you just try out new stuff, and you're not going to be grinding for five hours because you can't win a game while you're playing with a specialist hero. The quests give you bonus experience and gold. Experience helps you level up, and um, I'm not exactly sure what the point of leveling up is at the moment. All right, now I need to reach level 10, which opens up quests for individual heroes. Heroes, they're called hero quests. Other than that, I'm not exactly sure what the point of leveling up is. Gold, however, lets you buy things in the shop. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. In the shop, you can buy different heroes. So the way that this game works is that every week there's a rotation of heroes that are available for free. For example, this week you can play Diablo for free. You can see by the little icon here down in the bottom left, meaning that this hero is free to play for that week. But um, the, 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 the rotation changes every week, so next week Diablo is not going to be free to play. If you want to have a hero available to you to play all the time, then you can pay some gold and buy him. And you can see it's kind of expensive actually, so it does take a little while playing the daily quests in order to get up enough gold to buy some of these more expensive heroes like Stitches. Of course, you can also pay real money to buy the heroes as well. Um, some of the heroes are quite cheap, like Raynor, for example, and, uh, the, the, the guy from StarCraft, and then Vala, the demon hunter from Diablo 3. My own personal recommendation, I haven't bought any heroes yet, but just from my you know experience playing the game, the hero rotations that are free every week are pretty nice. Um, seems to me like the best strategy is just to buy the cheapest heroes and then, you know, work your way up to the middling ones. Because for me, the value of, you know, learning the game and playing with lots of different heroes is better than just playing with the same character over and over. Anyway, there are skins you can buy, which I don't really care about, but you can, you know, make your heroes look different. You can buy mounts, which look different. I really don't care about this crap either. And then there are bundles you can buy. And so in bundles, uh, you can actually pay real money to purchase a particular hero, and then the, the benefits of with the bundle, it comes with a skin as well. So you can see here, just for a reference point, this one hero costs... 750 so that way you know you can you can pay 750 and then have that hero available to you to be played with all the time now one thing i like about this game compared to league of legends is that i mean this is pretty much it in league of legends you have to like buy runes and update your mastery pages and to be honest it's all kind of really annoying and complicated and doesn't really add much to the game for me at all so i think that that's a simplification that blizzard made here which is excellent so I don't have to worry about all this other crap that didn't really add much to me for me to the game anyway. But granted, if you all really love that stuff in League of Legends, you might be disappointed here that there isn't more to do um, with specializing your character outside of outside of the actual game. Another comparison to League of Legends that I enjoy a lot more in Heroes of the Storm is the fact that you get to pick your hero first before the game matches you up with the party. So I'm going to go ahead and play as Raynor. Once I click that I'm ready then the game will find some people to play with me and we'll be pitted against a random team of five enemy opponents. That's redundant, enemy opponents. Anyway, five enemies. So that's really cool. There's none of this crap like in League of Legends where people insta-lock the hero that they want to play or get pissed because somebody took the hero that they wanted to play or people are arguing about who wants to play what role. Nope, you just pick somebody, the game will match you up with people, and that's that. I don't know if the game uh, will like pick champions of different roles to go together or if um it's just all completely random so it's possible to have really lopsided teams with like one team is all melee and the other team is all ranged what i do know is that the hero rotations the free heroes that are available each week are from a diversity of roles so usually since right now people are just playing with whatever is free um, you end up with pretty balanced teams 
So here we go. These are the people I'm playing with. There's Diablo, Elite Torn Chieftain, Illidan, and Nova, who is also from StarCraft. She's also kind of a sniper. And here we are in uh, Cursed Hollow. Now, one th cool thing about this game is that there's lots of different maps. Each map has um, a different, you know, layout, but also a different objectives. So in Cursed Hollow, every now and then, there will be tributes that appear on the map, and you have to walk over and collect them. If you collect three tributes, your enemies become cursed, and when they're cursed, their minions only have one hit point, and their forts don't actually attack you, so it becomes much easier to push their base. One of the cool things about this game is that the map objectives are like really, really important, so it's good to go after them, but at the same time, there are times where it's better to just ignore them, and uh, that's one of the strategic decisions that makes this game, I think, a little bit more complicated than people are giving it credit for. There are people who are like, yeah, this game is so simple, it's not, uh, it's not complicated enough, it's just for the casual crowd. But I disagree. I think this game is actually going to end up being a pretty big eSport. That's my prediction. And uh, part of that is that the complexity is not always obvious. Now, the other thing I like about this game compared to League of Legends is there's no shops. You don't need to memorize the Skirbjillion, Kerbjillion items and uh, buy them during the game. But instead, at various levels, you get a talent. So here I'm going to choose Path of the Assassin. It's a very simple one. Basically, every time I gain a level, uh, my guy does a little bit more damage. In addition, at one point, I think level 10 or something, you get to pick an ultimate. So there's this heroic ability that I don't have at the moment. Uh, I'll get that when I reach level 10. So that's how you customize your characters. Every so often, every few levels, you have to pick one of four talents. Um, when you start the game, actually, there are only two talents to pick at every level. And then at level 8, um, on, in the metagame, when you hit that level, you actually unlock two extra talents per level. So there's like, basically like a doubling of choices for every single level. So um, here's the game. Basically, the map, as you can see, is quite small. Like, here's our side, and then here's the enemy side. So the distance between people's forts is pretty small. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my ability here. So every hero has three different abilities um, that, you, that they can use. One of mine is like a little shot then that, that fires and uh, hits enemies, deals some damage, and pushes them back. I have an ability that makes me and my nearby allies shoot faster or attack faster. And I also have this ability, the Adrenaline Rush, which is really nice. That's actually not an ability that has to be activated. That's just an ability that automatically fires. Oh god, I'm gonna die. That's that's an ability that automatically fires when I get really low on health. As you can see, I'm pretty bad at this game. In the beginning, if you die, you come back to life pretty quickly, but in the end, it takes like a full minute to come back after dying. So uh, you can kind of be a little bit fast and loose early on, but after a while, you do need to be a little bit more careful. There are little pools in your base uh, where you can go to to um, heal back up a little bit. Alright, see, I'm very good at this game. I missed. So when you kill these little minions, your team levels up. And you can see up here at the top, experience is shared across the team. That's another thing I like. Compared to League of Legends, you're going to hear that from me a lot. Like, here's yet another thing I like compared to League of Legends. Um, is the fact that it's not like one person can get, like, super high level and everyone else is just in the dust. The experience is, you know, shared across the team. So that, I think, is really nice. Because it means that uh, what you do to, to gain experience helps your whole team. And so there's actually, like, a team-wide benefit to... Um, going around killing minions and stuff. The other thing I like about it is that um, it usually means that, you know, one team won't get too far behind another. Oh man, are we gonna get to kill this witch doctor? Oh yeah, look at that. I'm so good at this game, sometimes. Now I need to choose a new talent. I'm not gonna do that right now though, because I don't have them all memorized. So once I do, you know, once you play the game a lot more and you have them all memorized, you can pick them pretty instantly. Here we're going to go ahead and just get advanced optics. Yes, so this increases the range of my attacks a little bit, so I, I can shoot from further away. I think that's pretty helpful. Obviously, as you're specializing and try to do a particular strategy, um, you can pick different talents. When you press the Z key, it mounts you up and you go on your horse. I'm going to ping the tribute area. So this is the special mechanic of the map. We're going to go try to collect that tribute. Also, there's an enemy over here, Nova. So Nova is a weird character. She actually uh, cloaks whenever she's not fighting, so that's why she kind of disappeared off my map. And okay. Oh, I missed. Oh god. I'm so good at this game. Oh jeez. All right. So my my adrenaline rush kicked in, and I'm starting to heal now, but I died because of the witch doctor's poison. That Witch Doctor is a really good player. I have not played against too many Witch Doctors. Witch Doctor is not actually in the free rotation this week. 
So that person has clearly bought the witch doctor and played with them. When you die, the, the game finds like positive things to say about you. Like, you collected 20% of your team's experience. Great job. If you manage to live for a long time or like kill a lot of enemies, they'll be like, yeah, amazing. All right, is there anybody left here or is the enemy team just going to gather the tribute? All right, come on, Elite Torian Chieftain. We're going in here. Oh, they gathered a the tribute. Well, it's not a big deal yet because... um. Oh my god, wow, these people kill me really fast. Well, anyway, my team should have probably... Oh, well, actually, my team's dead. Oh, no, that's me and my enemy, and my friend just died. Anyway, I'm doing really badly, as you can see, because I'm bad at this game. But it's still a really fun game. Um, at the moment, we're not too far behind. We're, like, a level behind, and they got one tribute. You can see down here the progress. They have one tribute out of three. So once they get two more tributes, then we'll be in a little bit of trouble. But for now, we're okay. I'm just going to go ahead and hang out with my teammates. Oftentimes, you can win a game just if your team hangs out in a pack while the other, while the enemy team doesn't, um, because uh, you know if, if you're hanging out in a pack and, the, and then the enemy team is all scattered, then you'll just kill them whenever you find them. Let's go ahead and pick a talent here. Um, all right, we'll take searing attack. So that's actually an activated ability. I have to press the one key to activate it, and what that does is it you know for for um, five seconds my attacks cost mana, but they deal more damage. I'm going to try to remember to use that. One thing I forgot to mention is every hero has basically a passive. So mine is lead from the front. If I participate in the killing of an enemy, um, then my and, and that enemy dies, then my cooldowns decrease. Okay. Well, let's actually go down here. These red lines on the screen, by the way, those are mercenaries, so you can um, kill mercenaries. And what the mercenaries do is they go and they fight the enemy team's forts for you. We haven't done any of that yet, but uh, we'll do that at some point when there's a free moment. Usually towards the end, like later on in the game, it becomes more valuable to do that. So one thing I like to do is I like to shoot all of my all, all like all the minions in a row and then like have my cooldowns get reduced after the minions all die. Enemy mercenaries incoming. Oh Jesus, they're doing a really good job getting those enemy mercenaries. Alright, so my team is all in a pack, this is good. So let's, let's all go in a pack, hang out. So I'm gonna press my W ability in order to make everybody attack faster. Let's see if we can kill Diablo over here. Oh god, I don't think I'm gonna catch him. Well, let's get back on the horse. Man, this enemy team is really good! Jesus Christ! They keep killing everything that we do, and uh, even when we get in the pack, we're, we're not doing a very good job. Okay, oh jeez. I mean, I need my... Oh god. <sighs> So they actually leveled up to the point, they're two levels ahead of us. She actually had her heroic ability, which made her shoot me three times, and then I died because she did that. This is actually like the worst I have ever done. So I'm not very good at this game, but normally like I get like a decent amount of kills and I don't die very much. Here our team is just getting absolutely obliterated. On the good news, I get to pick a talent. I'm going to pick Rainer's Raiders, that's the one I always pick. So you get a choice of two different heroic abilities. I picked one that makes it so that um, when I activate it, we get Banshees show up. And then they shoot whatever I shoot. Banshee being the plane from StarCraft, not the ghost. Oh my god, what is going on over here? You know what? Fuck it. I'm not even going there. Um, anyway, so they are going to get their third tribute. I mean, they've just obliterated us completely. They have killed us every single time they've we've been in battle with them. And on top of that, they, they um, have also gotten all the tributes so it's just like <laughs> absolute devastation i don't know if it's entirely my fault although i am pretty bad let's go ahead and just do the mercenaries just to show up this different part of the game so the mercenaries um what they do is they die slowly so no one is here to help me which is fine i didn't ask for help i didn't uh ping the area and then once i finally kill these things these guys are kind of nifty you can see like on the on the floor where their rocks are gonna land so you can kind of dodge. Oh god, that is the ultimate of my opponent. Uh, whatever. I don't even care. I'm just gonna use my I'm gonna use my ultimate here. So there, there's the banshees. 
Let's just finish this mercenary off. Okay. So we're going to go here, you stay on this area, now I've captured the mercenary camp, but the mercenaries are now going to attack the enemy for us. I am going to go back to my base, you can press the B button to activate your hearthstone! <laughs> uh, not, not the card game, the thing that teleports you back to your base. We're going to go back here, and... Let's see if we can kill this Diablo character. One of my teammates said, spoiler, Diablo's not important, which makes sense. Diablo is just a tank. The, 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 he's just there to, you know, distract attention. I'm going to go ahead and get on my horse and try to chase down this demon hunter. problem with my Q ability is that it uh, pushes the enemy away. Oh, I forgot about my searing attacks completely. Oh, God. That's hilarious. Totally forgot about those steering attacks. Yeah, that's that's the issue. Wait, is there is Nova here? Why was that decreasing? I think I think the enemy Nova was there, causing that thing to. Anyway. Oh, she teleported away right before I could shoot her. Well, anyway. Anyway, <clears throat> mount up. Let's go. Um, I don't know. We're three levels behind. This is actually phenomenally bad. Phenomenally. I get to choose a talent. Spell shield, reduce damage, basic attack. Okay, well just I'm just taking the ones that cause me to deal more damage. Clearly, this is all that I can really think about at the moment. Alright guys, let's let's take out these mercenaries. Let's do it. We're gonna do it? Alright, we're doing it. I'm gonna pop my ultimate, I'm gonna pop my searing attacks. This is great. Shoot this thing super dead. The enemy team seems to have the same idea. They also got some mercenaries. There's lots of mercenaries incoming. Now you can now what's cool is you can actually go intercept the mercenaries. And you can um when when they're intercepted, uh, you, you you can you can actually like kill them on the map. I'm gonna turn on my searing attacks. I don't think searing attacks is actually good because it costs mana. I'm just going to ignore the tribute. They have to get three of these damn tributes before it actually even matters anymore. Um, there's a team fight here, and we're just shooting these knights instead of actually getting the tribute. That's, that's because we're really good at this game. Oh god, that's the enemy team. Can I can I run through here? Can I run through here? Thanks. I'm going to drink that healing pool so that I can... Uh... What is that? Oh, that's Diablo's ultimate. I guess it's, it stuns everyone. Alright, well... Uh, this is bad. So my team's three of our five people are dead. Now I am complete. Is that because you found your true love, Tom Cruise? Alright, I'll just shoot them. They're gonna destroy my forts. Oh, they're gonna miss me with their ability. Oh, I got hooked! That's not good. Generally, you don't want to get hooked by that guy. Can I kill Diablo? Nope, not a chance. All right, my ultimate's back up. Let's do this. Searing attacks, ultimate. Here we go. Yo, look who's good at this game. I can do the talent. What is this? Um, all right, let's do cluster round. That makes my my Q ability here, my penetrating round, deal more damage. Okay. Well, what I'm gonna do here is real quick, get on my horse and go back up to the main level. So the nice thing about going back up here is that this causes you to get all healed up. So you can see my health is going up really quickly. Wow, our core is at 71% health. That's bad. Uh, okay. So where are my teammates other than dead? I think they're actually nowhere. Well, let's just kill some of these minions, I guess. The enemy gathered a tribute. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, we don't see the enemy team on the map. I have no idea where they are. There don't seem to be any mercenaries to get at the moment. I'm just going around here with, with Ferris Star here to see maybe if he has a clue of what to do. I don't think he does, though. Get back on the horse. Where is my team? Oh, there's a guy. There's Diablo. Let's hang out with Diablo. Maybe you look like you know what you're doing. 
Let's see if we can shoot down this fort. Oh, look at this. We destroyed their cannon. Do you know why that is? Do you know why that is? It's because we're good at this game. That's why that is. I think Diablo's just getting hit by that tower for no reason. I have no idea where the enemy is. They're not dead. They're definitely not dead. Oh, I think they, they were going out killing mercenaries. Well, that's actually okay. So, we're gonna I'm going to ignore the tribute. Because really, who cares? I'm going to miss the Demon Hunter with my ability. Oh, what what the? Oh, jeez. That's a pretty good ultimate. How did that even happen? I don't even see. Is that like a global ultimate? Is that like... Well, whatever. I'm like forgetting to use all my abilities. We destroyed their tower. That's what's important, people. It's We destroyed their tower. Now, um, what's going on over here? Gotta remember to turn on my Searing Attacks and to turn on my ultimate. I feel kind of bad calling it my ultimate because I know that's League of Legends terminology, but that's pretty much what it is. Okay, okay, okay. I think I think we need to go back. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Alright. Uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get on the horse and get the hell out of here. Oh, no. Oh, so apparently getting hit by an ability takes you off your horse. I did not know that. Did not know that. Okay. My team is where? Dead. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Glad that that happened. Enemy mercenaries are coming in. What is going on down here? Uh, nothing much. Oh, my, my, teammate, my teammates are killing the mercenaries. So see, see these dudes that I, that I killed a while back? Uh, the enemy killed them. And then that made them... That, that made them come at us. But my teammates were there and they killed them. Because my teammates are good at this game. Apparently the core actually regenerates life over time. I did not know that. It's up to 73. It used to be like at 71%. That's pretty great. Should we get this tribute? Oh, we need to get this tribute because they're 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 at the third one. They're they're at the third. The, the enemy team has gotten two tributes apparently. So let me get on the horse. Oh god, they're there. Oh, the enemy team is all there. We need to get this tribute, people. Oh god, what's going on? Oh, I'm off my horse. Oh, because I ran into a pack of enemy minions. Wait, I'm coming, guys. Ultimate, searing attacks, shoot my things, go after the demon hunter, kill the demon hunter. Oh, what the hell? Oh, so the enemy stitches use this ability where he like swallows you for a while. Oh, I died. You were alive for nine minutes, 19 seconds. Great job. Like, yeah, so I've killed seven people. I'm actually, whoa, I'm actually like the best. I am the best player on my team. Well... Yeah, my kill to death ratio is I'm the only person who has more kills than deaths. I now I know I know that's not the only way to judge performance. I realize that uh, you know there's other things like teamwork and whatnot which I suck at, but we're going to look for the positives, okay? Also, I earned more XP for my team than anyone else, and I am the only person who killed more people than I died. So, I'm going to go ahead and give myself some credit for that. I think the enemy is just going to destroy our entire base right now though. Because we're cursed, so our guns don't fire. This guy's going to go fight the entire enemy team by himself, because he's, he's good at this game. And, okay. Now, the nice thing about the enemy fighting in your base is that, you know, you can always run back here and heal up. So, it's difficult for the enemy to, um, to, to you know, make much headway. However, the issue with, with that is that um, your core, like, if, if a bunch of enemy minions get close to your core, it's a disaster. You're just not going to get, you're, you're, the enemy minions will, like, destroy your core really quickly. So, you have to be super careful. Right, let's get on the high horse. Let's go over here. See if we can kill this witch doctor. I think this witch, if this witch doctor does not die, I will be highly disappointed. I think that witch doctor is actually going to get away. Okay, what we need to do is we need to get these mercenaries. People, forget the tributes. Whatever, who cares? Oh, wait, no, we need to defend our core. Shit. Uh, we have to get our core. Diablo is destroying our core here. Guys. If we can actually catch the team overextending um, and kill them all, then we might be okay. Alright, I need to go for this Demon Hunter. Searing attacks, Banshees! Oh, my Banshees came after... Uh... Oh, wait, nope, my Banshees helped. Okay, good, this is good. I, do I need to choose a talent? What the hell? Um, Fury of the Storm, Base Attacks, bone it, Bounce Twice. Yeah, alright, sure, we'll do that. That's fine. Okay, what we need to do is, while the enemy team is all dead, we need to get these mercenaries, guys. We need to, we need to, we need to get the mercenaries while they're all dead. You can count on me. 
We should kill mercs while they all did. Alright, searing attacks. Shooting things. Oh, you know what? He's right. We should have killed their golem first instead of killing ours. That's totally smart. So they're about to respawn, but we got the, the biggest mercenary. The biggest, the baddest mercenary in the game. Alright, here's the witch doctor. If we don't kill this witch doctor, I am going to be so pissed. It's not even funny. How's that witch doctor not dead? I'm telling you, didn't I tell you that witch doctor was good at this game? All right, we killed their witch doctor. So it's a really big deal. You really do not want to die at this point of the game because it takes a long time to come back. Uh, I really don't think we should be collecting the tribute, to be totally honest, because it's gonna take like three of them before it matters and we're all at zero. We should be pushing, I think, with our golem. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Eh. Eh. Alright, I'm, I'm swallowed here. And the enemy team is all on my face. I don't even know what is going on. Where am I? I actually literally don't know where I am. I'm right there. Okay. There's the demon hunter. She needs to die. Diablo, I believe it doesn't matter, but I should kill him because he was almost dead. My adrenaline rush has fired. What's going on? What's going on? I'm alive! Here's their little health pool, but I really shouldn't do that until I've killed off their stitches. Oh no! So there, there, there's a noise that gets made when um, the enemy towers and stuff are shooting at you. Right, let's, let's, let's get rid of that thing. So there's Witch Doctor. Hey, Witchy. Witches are us. So that was actually handy pushing him back. Right, there's Nova. We need to kill her. Searing attacks? Uh... Eh, what's going on? Why am I moving? Oh, jeez. Did I, like, get scared or something? Okay. So I'm... Oh, no! Oh, no! Nova was cloaked and she shot me dead. We are in trouble. So, look. Takedowns 8. Amazing! D d oh, I can't see because of the stupid... The stupid... Oh, did we lose? Did the game end? What happened? Why is this uh, now playing? Calls for retreat. Okay. You gathered 23.7% of your team's XP. Great job! Okay, so as you can see, you're dead for a long time here, but we actually kind of caught up. We're equal levels. Uh, we gather the tribute. Our core is, you know, almost dead, but that's okay. Actually, when I respawn... Let's take a look over here. Yeah, this is looking a little bit grim. I probably am going to help clear things up with the core here. Is there a mercenary? Oh, it's an easy camp. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Actually, wow, my team is much better at this game than I am. You see, look, they've, they've got two tributes already, somehow. The enemy team did just, I think, get a mercenary camp, and it's going to be coming our way, which is bad. I'm currently the only person who is dead. I think I think the only reason actually we're in this game is because the enemy team has been, like, losing connection, which is kind of funny. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just defend here for a little while. Let's um, make sure that... You know, I don't like these searing attacks, to be totally honest with you guys. I wish I had picked something that's just always active instead of... Something that I have to activate. Where's my team? Oh, they're mostly dead. I see. Well. It's, uh, so here are the enemy mercenaries. I am going to turn on Searing Attacks and my Banshees. Because you can see, even though these are just like random enemy minions, they're like dealing a lot of damage to me. So it's a good thing I took that Hero of, or Fury of the Storm thing that makes my basic attacks bounce. Because I really do need some help killing this stuff. Okay, okay. What? Oh, Jesus! Well played, sir! Well played! I got hooked from across the wall by Stitches. That Stitches is a good player. He really knows what the hell he's doing. So now I'm dead for a minute. Uh, and, and my teammates are sort of doing a lot better. Uh, this this e, it's EDC, Elite Torn Chieftain guy, is pretty good. Look at this, though. I've still earned the most XP, and I've tied for fewest deaths, so I think I'm doing pretty good. This is gonna go terribly because aren't we outnumbered? Or am I or am I or am I crazy? We're outnumbered here, yeah? So the stitches just gorged on somebody. Our Elite Torn Chieftain cannot take on the enemy team by himself, and we're all dead. Well, it was it was a good fight. I mean we for, there was there was a moment there where I thought it was gonna happen, but I swear to god, every single person on their team was like extremely good. 
the the stitches guy was good at his hook the witch doctor was good at not dying nova was a good sniper i think the demon hunter is probably their weakest link nope the demon hunter has 40 kills well actually they all have a bajillion kills i don't know Anyway, that's Heroes of the Storm, ladies and gentlemen. So we can see now it's actually not that big of a deal to lose, apart from the pain to your ego. Uh, you still, you know, get progress on quests. And, like, I think I have, what, like a Play 2 Games quest? So anyway, we'll see. Let's take a look at the stats screen and end this video. So we still get a lot of experience. Can I? Okay. And then the weekend bonus is, is whatever, sure. You get, like, 20,000 bonus experience if you win. But you can see here, they got like 114, we got 98,000 XP, so it's not like that big of a difference in terms of progression, whether you win or you lose. And yeah, I, 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 I represented, I represented Team Rainer. We had, um, yeah, this, this, I don't think this guy did anything at all, all game. I don't think our Diablo guy did much all game either. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and blame my, uh, my teammates for my own ineptitude. So uh, that is that. Wait, didn't I make progress for a daily quest? Oh yeah, play two games, yeah. So once I pl play one more game, I'll get another 50,000 XP and 500 gold. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back for another uh, video with Rainer, the, the character that I've played with the most. And um, hopefully we'll do a little bit better next time. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'll see you again soon.